But you know, for the 352, yeah. I mean, it gets the boat up and goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A buddy of mine in high school, his parents bought a new 59 sedan. Yeah. And we used to take the air cleaner off and listen to the carburetor howl with the hood <laughs> propped over. Just some stupid thing. Just, just, to, just to hear the sound. Just to hear that. Whoa! Yeah. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we have friend to the channel, Dennis Roxworthy. And this is a new car for you. Yes, it is, Lou. When did you get it? About two months ago. And we're going to see an amazing Ford with maybe some of the greatest trunk and treats you've ever seen. Dennis, what did you bring today? I brought a 1959 Ford Fairlane 500 retractable Skyliner hardtop <laughs> convertible. <laughs> this one, well, you just need to see it to believe it. Take a look at this. This color combo is absolutely fantastic. What's the colors on this one, Dennis? This is, uh, this is surf blue and Wedgwood blue. Wedgwood blue, surf blue it's on the side. It's a style tone combination where the dark blue's on the roof, light blue in the middle, and dark blue on the bottom. And I'll just style tone. Style tone. And I'll just show the beautiful grill insert there. Let me take one more step back to let people kind of take in what we're going to share. So let me let you think about that for a second. And let's dive right in. Let's start with the grill. Tell me about okay, the grill. Ford had a real hard time making this grill because they wanted a floating star type grill. So a couple of suppliers said they couldn't do it. They found a supplier that said they could. Floating star. And it's a nickname of floating star grill. To give the idea you got floating stars like in the galaxy. Yeah. Like in the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool it's stars. I got it. Yep. Look at even the nubs on that. I want to show the yeah. angle. Yeah, the bumperettes, those bumper guards are factory options, as well as the license plate frame. On the, the license front. plate frame, okay. Yeah, that's Ford. And the center hood armament, that's that's an option also. Not this, no, but that. No, just the hood armament with the rocket on it, yeah. So look at that, how cool that is. And even these fender ornaments, which have, I could see, a Thunderbird engagement to them. Right. Because you got the influence of the Thunderbird in this car. And then the same on the back, on the back side. side. Now, some of the earlier cars, the very, very early cars, yeah. they have a gold ball instead okay. of the Thunderbird thing on there. So it all depends what month the thing was produced. So I know I'm jumping in on your Lion emblem, and these are options. Right. The hubcap is standard, the full wheel cover on this car, but that Lion thing in the center is an option. Is an option. So let's step back from this one. This is an I say step back and I can't help myself. This is an option. Right, the two spotlights. The two spotlights. Those are factory Ford. With the mirror on mm -hmm. the back. And you can see the hand grips there. Let's step back and take a look and before I forget. As we come back. Come on back with me, Dennis. We'll take a look at the overall side. Sure. We've parked, we've parked it perfectly in the sun. And again, just with the colors, I'll let you take a moment to take that in. This car looks good on a beach alongside of an ocean, wouldn't it? That would be tremendous. It looks great right here. It does, yeah. So I want you to focus on the chrome or stainless that goes all the way down the car, starts at the bottom of the door, hits the quarter panel, does a hard up sweep and goes all the way back and then this stainless piece comes out to feature with you with the word Fairlane 500. Dennis, if you can jump in it sure. and hit the brake light, please. These are optional too, that girl with the exhaust tips. The exhaust tips, I'll share that when we turn it around. And while you're going into the car to show the tail lights, We'll show our trunk and treats. Well, here we have the trunk and treats for the Fairlane. And I'm going to tell you right up front, Dennis has done an unbelievable job of collecting this since 1959. So there's going to be a much greater detailed video. If you go in the description, I will show you 19 minutes worth of trunk and treat. But we're just going to feature these main brochures. Now, this is the first year, Dennis, right? Yes. Then there was a second one that came out. Right. You uh, can see by the 
green top. And then this last one. Yeah, three editions, Lou. Three editions. By the way, there's that gold yep. piece on the top like you were sharing, and you've got the gun sight mm -hmm. inserts. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open these kind of one at a time and show you the differences. Notice there's no difference right yet in these two, but you'll see, I'll give you a chance to read a little bit of that. You see the awarded gold medal. And again, there's much greater detail. This one was listed as the third one and considered the wedding edition. So I'm just gonna, like I said, open these up and you can already see the difference in page two right there. And then Dennis, you were saying this is the Galaxy. You can okay. see Galaxy. Yeah. Go ahead. The way it started out, Lou, if you go back to the first brochure, yeah. Fairlane 500 only, there was no Galaxy in early 59. And so then let's go right to around, the second page. Right around January, in 58, right around January of 59, they came out with the Galaxy. So, so all of a sudden, this page is different. This is this is the original brochure on the Fairlane 500 Showing retractable. Showing retractable. Okay. And then this is another Fairlane 500 book. They don't show the retractables. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll right. take this. Go ahead. Right. Okay, then you... I got an See, And then page. if you look, all the roof lines and are... And by the way, notice this page now is this page. Right, right. Okay, go ahead. And then you want to flip this one? Okay. No, th well, actually, that, that one I just flipped. So okay. this one now okay. shows this page. Same thing again. Okay, so we okay. got... Yeah. So okay. you can keep going. Okay. okay. Keep going. And it's great to do them side by side right. like this because you'd never know. So everything's identical so far, yep. right? So far except identical. For the, except for this one not having the, the retractable. Right. Yet. Okay. And you go again. It's going to be the same. Yep. Until. Oh, wait. No, a little difference. No. It changes. Got a little difference here. See? The printing changes. Yeah, You've got they the show dash. The, they show the. And the dash there. They yeah. show the salesman's car with no back seat. But this one they don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There it is over here. Yep. See what they did? They carried it over to the back yeah, page. Yeah, look at that. But here's the secret. There is the retractable. We'll flip one more page on this yeah. side. Okay. And here's the retractable. Did, did they? Well, it'll go back. It'll go. See okay, what it so, does? Yeah, so, so they slipped this in. Yeah. Okay. Because they knew they were coming out with the Galaxy. Right. And there it is. The Galaxy Skyliner retractable. Look at that. Okay. Then. So so let me just, so we're here on this page. Right. This talks about our additions, the colors. our tones. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's this page. There's a repeat of it. Yep. So now we go here. That should see be. if that one says engines. Yep. Then we got Yeah, this engines. is, a, this is, a, now, but look over here. It's all the same. See? Yep. All the same. The color is a little dense. The printing. Right. Now, they now, slipped this one in. It's just station wagons and the Thunderbird. Yeah. Isn't that something? How they did it? Totally different. That's good. Look here, Lou. The ink is even a different yeah, color. Right. This is pretty and much the all skirt, the same the until you get over here. here. Right. They switched. Right. And here's yeah. all your accessories on the side. All yeah. right. And there's the back. Now. And then there's the back. Which okay. are the same. Right. Now you get to this. This is the Galaxy manual. This okay. is this is when they brought out the formal roof line. They wanted to make it look like a Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. And they had a marriage, a, a wedding, okay. showing the wedding party. And then here's all the formal roof lines, which you don't see on those other cars right. the other if you compare. So these ones had a different roof line. So there's the two-door hardtop, the four-door hardtop. See the pillar of his car? Yep. The four-door sedan and the Galaxy and the Galaxy. These weren't Galaxy 500s. They were just Galaxies back then. Mm -hmm. There's your retractable. There's the retractable mm -hmm. Galaxy. Now they never made a yellow this bright. It was more of a mustard yellow called yeah. Inca Gold. So that's the that's an incorrect printing. But this is what they did back then. There's your three convertibles. Your retractable, your mm -hmm. Sunliner, and your T-Bird. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Show us, show us what this invitation to a wedding looks okay. inside there. Yeah, here, here you go again. Now, now this goes back the opposite way. It shows the Fairlane models. Oh, isn't that interesting? It's backwards. So you've got this over here. Mm -hmm. There's one more. 
kind of options yeah. piece showing yeah. the Thunderbird up there. Mm -hmm. There's your air conditioner. And then the back of the brochure. Okay. Now, show it, show okay, us this one. Now getting to this, this was set and, to... And by the way, if you go through the 19 minute, you're going to see all of these that I'm not featuring. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. The police car being... Yeah, the, the wagons. wagons. Yeah. All of that will be in the full-blown edition. But show this Okay, one. this is something that would sent to Ford customers on their mailing list. Came in this envelope. Yeah, I want to show this. It, Here's your There's invitation. your invitation to the wedding of the Galaxy. And then you open this up, it's a letter from Lee Iacocca. Look at that. He was a car marketing manager back then for Ford. That's crazy. Okay, flip that. Okay, show so then, what happens. So we open it up. And then it's that. This is fold out and it shows this. Okay. And then you unfold yeah. this. Then it shows. Look at that. It shows the fair lanes. Here's a Galaxy Sunliner, Galaxy Galaxy, but then this is a Fairlane 500, back to the original one. In the custom. Meet the members of the wedding. Yeah, those are all the, the cars that were invited, supposedly, the right? Cars that are invited to the wedding. Yeah. So there's your wedding party cars. I do. Well, that's... That's pretty neat, isn't it, Lou? That's tremendous. Mm -hmm trunk and treats see the full description with everything look inside the description of this video you'll have that link thanks Dennis okay and we're back okay just in time for the taillights to be shown as they look like flame in the rocket exhaust and we're gonna turn this one around for you so you can see the back in the Sun so I shared with you we would turn it around and you can see why we did because those fins are, well, fantastic. And this one, first of all, I love the fact that it doesn't have the Continental kit. And I want to show you this back a little more that angle. And then show you these points. And then jump in on that. Number one, you can see the reverse light. You've got these rocket-like flame balls coming out for your tail. And of course, the Fairlane 500. You've got your exhaust. Now, if you really notice, the exhaust yeah, those is below are, it. Those are fake exhaust tips, and the real exhaust is underneath it to keep the exhaust you off know, the car. Off the car. You yeah. Know, protects the chrome and the, the paint. And even the notice the bullets even have right. kind of some piece in there that's super cool. Information for yeah, you. Yeah, please. See the hole, the bumper. I learned this from a. A friend of mine, a yeah, retractable This hole here? Okay. On the regular Fords, not the retractable, the gas filler is right here. Okay. So when you pull the gas thing down, it hits the bumper and it had a rubber plug in there. Ah. So they use the same bumper on the retractable. That's why that hole's in there. Yeah. yeah. How did you find that out? Don Walters, the one you videoed, the 57? Yeah. He's a retractable expert. And he, he told me that. So, that's why that hole's there. So that said, that's why you've got your gas filler here. here. Yeah, it's an entirely different gas tank and everything. Come right car. alongside me because I want to show since the sun is hitting this just like so. Even the birds sing when they see this. <laughs> and I've got a little special treat here for you. We're going to show how the retractable works. Just hold it for just a second. I just want to show people the luggage. And while this is open, oh yeah, I want to show them the luggage. I want to show them the retractable roof information. 
notice this is supposed to be your trunk, but look at the mechanisms and all of this in here. And that's Ford luggage. And that's Ford luggage you share. All right, so I'm gonna step back one more time. All right, and we'll finish that off. Okay. Yeah. And that's how the top works. And look, look how smooth it tightens up. Can you imagine storing this thing? Isn't that great? Yeah, <laughs> that's great. And we're back. So with that, come on up. Look at, just enjoy the chrome from the front, hinging the quarter panel, reversing yeah. itself, and going out the top, and the bottom. Fills. Now this is interesting because the Galaxy was the upgrade, right? But the Fairlane, as you can see, may I? Yeah. We, you can see, is not missing a thing. So as you're greeted to the Ford logo, and let me show you the bench seat. Dennis, tell me a little bit about this vinyl because this is unique. okay. This is this is what they call an aftermarket seat cover that protects the seats, and it was big in the 50s or in the 40s. You can hear it. And, and they were, and they had. They had another company that made finger hut seat covers, and if some of the older guys remember, they had little bumps where this is just smooth. Uh -huh. So this could be a finger hut seat cover. They made a couple of styles, you know. So, but th that's another option, and they even showed in the literature you could buy the plastic seat covers to protect your interior. Yeah, let me step yeah. right here yeah. to show this interior. That's really cool. It is. And you know what? I remember as a kid. I want to show that. Well, the other thing is, yeah. notice the chrome piping on the seats? Yeah. It's also on the seat, the plastic seat cover. So you got the chrome piping right here. Yeah. And then if you really look, you can see it on the seat. The, yeah. See it? Yeah, I do. Right there? So it matches the so seat. So it matches the car. And I wanna, I'm thinking with the sun just like this, you could probably see the sparkles. In the seat covers. In the seat covers. Yeah. Let me show that. Yeah, these were just beautiful interiors in these things. It's just amazing. I mean, we'll tighten it up a bit. And that door has a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all what, those chrome marlar. And yeah, what a door insert. You have the power steering there. You can see the air conditioning. We're going to show you our pedals, your high beams, the factory piece there. Is this AM FM or? No, it's AM. It's, it's just uh, AM, but it's, it's says AM. It's Town and Country, I right, see here. Right. Well, at the Town and Country radios, see those two bars on top where it says T and C? Yeah, that's Town and Country. Right? And if, you want, if you're out in the country, that radio will find itself. You know, it'll go to the strongest station and pick it out. Yeah. And Even then they had the regular radio, mm -hmm. the push button radio. That's a, that's a day nightmare. That's another option. Yeah, just. What's the spotlights? Those are Ford. You know, Unity made all the spotlights, but they made ones for the different car companies with their logos yeah. on it. Let's, because we've got it in the sun, let's pop the hood sure. right here, shall we? Okay. Let me get it over there for you a little Sure. Bit. Now you've got the bigger engine, the 352. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the 352 300 horse. This is as big as they got. The 430 would have been only in the T Bird in 59. And which, Not in the Ford. I'll remind people, take a look at Dennis's 1960 Ford Thunderbird with that 430 engine. So here's the air conditioning unit. It's factory air. Your 
small single master cylinder to slow this boat down. The only thing I'll do, since I bought this car, yeah. I will put the correct battery in it. Okay. Because that's, you know, it's some aftermarket battery. Mm -hmm. You got a couple hose clamps that I got to change. See, they probably had to do some work on it. Okay. So I'll put the correct hose clamps back on. But I, I want to show you something on the air conditioning a little bit. Sure. On the top of the door, on the right door. Yeah. There uh, it is, the factory air. Very nice. That little marking yeah. saying yeah. from Ford. Well, Dennis, while we have it open, let's uh, fire it up, shall we? Let's get a good work today, huh? Yeah, it's a perfect day for a convertible. Smooth. Wow, is that smooth. This is a beauty. It's a beauty. Dennis, give us a little 352 cubic inch, please. That sounds pretty powerful. Yeah. Well, Dennis, I think we need to uh, take this one for a ride. So, Dennis, a perfect day. Yes, it is. Quite honestly, the perfect colors on this car. Yeah, yeah. I, that's why I bought, one of the reasons I bought the car, because of the color combination. You know, it, it's correct. Tell, tell me about the transmission on this one. You got okay, the, this has got the 300 horse, 352 big block. It's the highest horsepower one you could buy in 59. And the cruiser mag trans, which is the three-speed trans with a nine-inch rear end. And a four barrel. And, uh, they made a two-speed trans called a Ford Matic. This is the Cruiser Matic. Got it. And just one of the differences between the Galaxy and the Fairlane, well, is that it says Fairlane here versus Galaxy. Tell me about this two-shoe box. Okay. Going back to the Fairlane 500. Sure. Even the Galaxy would say Fairlane 500. And what they did on oh, the really? Galaxy, they glued a little gold plate on the on the middle on the side of the over here. The blue is. Yeah. Okay. So they put yeah. a little plate. Yeah. So everyone's a Fairlane 500. Got it. Tell me about this tissue okay, box. Okay, that is a factory original tissue box. And if you buy the reproduction, that Ford logo yeah. won't be embossed, it'll be glued to it. Okay. If it's embossed like that, that's an original one. It'll be mixing. And then tell me about this air Okay, condition. this has got the, the factory air. It's an air car. On the top of the door where you're sitting, Lou, on the outside, you'll see the, the logo. It oh, says, I'm going to feature that. Yeah, it says factory air. But this yeah. Is a, this has got, this car is loaded. It's got the town and country radio, <laughs> the spotlights, yeah. power windows, power seat, the big engine. There's not an option this car doesn't have. But I'm, I'm just featuring, I'm just going to let people take in a little of our cruise here. Let's peep the horn. How's that sound? Nice. Yeah, everything works on it. The radio even works. The clock is working. Yeah. This thing's smooth. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's just a nice. It's almost. It's, well, it's a, it's a Jerry Miller restoration, and Jerry Miller is out of Springdale, Arkansas. Yeah. He is the guru in retractable Fords. That, that that guy is King Kong when it comes to these cars, and this is one of his cars. And it's like the Amos mentor of the Thunderbird world. And that and Amos is out of Dallas, so. These cars that these two gentlemen restore bring the most money at the auctions. Is that right? And I was just at Indy, and they, they sold a Ranchero, a Ford Ranchero pickup truck. Yeah. That Jerry Miller restored. It went for $110,000. Wow. Along with an El Camino, 59 El Camino. Alongside, they were a beautiful pair of pickup trucks, let me tell you. That is good stuff. Yeah. Well, Dennis, what a treat. Always so much fun connecting with you. My pleasure sharing this car. I just want to show that little bullet sight yeah. on the front of it. Okay, that one in the center of the hood, Lou? Yeah. That's an option. The, Is that right? Yeah, and the ones on the fenders, that's stock. Now, they on the regular cheaper Ford, you wouldn't have any of this on the hood or the fenders. But you could put that center bullseye as an option on all of them. Is that right? But the outer, the outer ones, the gun sight ones with the Thunderbird logos on them, they only came on the Fairlane 500 in the Galaxy. So much fun, right? Yeah.
And the early cars didn't have the the logos. They had a gold ball okay. on top of that perch. Right, 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 yeah. right. It was almost a, a fender uh, fender ornament with a gold yeah, ball they, rather than they the actual logo. They it during the year, you know? Yeah, which is really cool. Where were they had in the parts bin? <laughs> what was in the parts bin? Dennis, what a fun time, right? Okay, it is, Lou. All right, it's thanks so much. It's fun being with you, buddy. It's always fun being with you. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Not a problem.